everyone, welcome to my channel. This would be a really quick video and a really informative video and a really cool video because I have a product here that I really, really like and I'm gonna highly recommend this one. Matter of fact, uh, just jump to the link and buy it now. This is called the Beta FPV 95X version three. It looks like this, I'm holding it up to the camera here and I'm holding it up to the camera out here. So. I've flown the version 2 before, which is this one, and you've seen videos of it. I'll show some footage of it right now, flying the version 2 around. Mine is a little beat up here. You can see in the image, it's a little beat up because I've used it a lot. You'll notice that it's a total plastic construction. I don't see any carbon fiber on this at all. It's just all plastic. So. How good is it if it's all plastic? Well, mine's still in one piece and it gets a lot of use. As a matter of fact, if you go on YouTube and you see a lot of people who just get into FPV and they're already on YouTube making videos and they jump over to the FPV world, the drone they all tend to use is the Beta FPV 95X version two. And now they're all gonna use version three. So the version three is basically just an enhanced, you know, version two. It's, it's better, but it's not a little bit better, it's a lot better, at least in the flight. This old version 2 had, look at the props, I'll show up the camera here. It's got the tri-blade props and it looked like they were just throwing stuff together. It just looks kind of odd, like they didn't really have it finished. But when you look at the version 3, I know I've got a camera on it and battery. It's more finished, look at the bottom, it's nicely finished. Everything looks really good, prim and proper. Now the first thing you're all gonna ask is the weight. So let me show you that really quick. I'm gonna grab a scale over here. Let me just plop this down so it's in the camera. The weight is what makes this drone so popular for guys like me. Not only that it flies so well, but watch this. So I've got a camera on here. This is a 4K 60 frames per second Insta 360 naked camera. So that plus the drone, no battery, weighs this much, watch this. What do we add? I have to stand up here. 134 grams. I think that's what it says. And if I add the recommended battery, so this battery will get you four and a half minutes minimum of flight time. Let me just plop that on and see what I'm at. 190 grams with the battery. Now, a guy like me, when I fly a drone like this with that camera, I don't use the 450. I'll use something like a 650 milliamp hour battery, which will get me more flight time. I'm in like the five to six minutes now. Only 196 grams. But I don't stop there. A lot of times, look at this big battery. I will fly with an 850 on this because it lifts it really easy. So the camera, the drone, and an 850 milliamp battery. You know, I'm way over 10 minutes now of flight time with this. 232 grams. Yeah, I'm not even at the 250 yet. I can go even higher in a battery with that camera. It's really, really good. Now the version I have is analog, so it's very inexpensive. It's under $200 US for this here version without the camera, you know, this camera that I have on it, but you have the pilot's camera to see where you're going, which is analog, and you have to use analog goggles like, uh, you know, fat sharks that I have here. So when I flew this, which I'm about to show you the video, uh, I just used the fat shark goggles. So one thing that's really good about this to show you how beginner how you can fly this as a beginner is, I'm gonna show you some video of me just flying it around my house. And I'm basically gonna put a camera on my head and look down at the drone and fly it. And I'm gonna fly it with one hand. It's that simple to fly. So uh, check out this video. Here we go, indoor flight of the 95X. You will notice that the battery on the 95X goes on sideways. You see, you just fit it sideways versus the normal front to back, which is a good idea because you can fit any size of battery on that. I do have the camera on in the front and I will turn it on and I will show you the video from the forward uh, Insta360 naked camera and the camera from the drone. It's all analog, so it's going to be recorded in my Fat Shark goggles. The radio I'm going to use to fly it is my Tyrannus QX7, so let's power that on. Here you can see I've set up the radio for the 95X version 3, so let's connect the battery and get this going. Next thing we're going to do is power on our little camera, so I press this far outside button and we will get some signal that it's working. It's gonna check the micro SD card and then it's gonna to go to a solid color, we're good. So I just press the next button in and we are now in record mode. There we go, recording and we're ready to take off. Here we go. So what I wanna show you is how easy it is to fly. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the throttle, move it up a little bit and fly it with the right joystick. It's armed and let's take it up a bit. Okay, so you see here, I'm only flying it with the right joystick. I can bring it back. And one joystick that is flying it, nothing more. Going forward. I'm not doing anything with the joystick. You can see, I'm just moving one joystick here. Go through this way. 
Doesn't matter if I bounce into anything because it's got the little rubbery foam stuff on the side. Let's just spin it to go this way. There. This one here. Going down the hall. I haven't played with the throttle at all. I just kept it at this height. I'm gonna go much faster, much higher height, go over things. Ooh, didn't want to hit me in the face. Very easy to fly. So you can imagine if you're flying this outdoors, you can go slow and look around things or go fast and cruise around. There we go. And if you want to land, let me bring it over in front of my little camera. Oh, uh, bring it down. So from the video, you can see it's very simple to fly and the feed from the pilot camera up front, the analog camera that I showed, it's not that bad indoors, not a lot of light. Those cameras require a lot of light. And of course the Insta360 indoors, well, it just looks like an Insta360 camera indoors. That camera as well is more designed for outdoors. So the outdoor footage looks really good on both cameras. Matter of fact, how about I show you right now? I took this out in the very cold weather. It was like minus nine degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. That's what it is right there. And I flew this up and down my street. There was nobody around, nobody around. And as soon as I took this out, the same thing always happens. People just start coming out of their houses and going for a walk. And I don't like flying drones around people I don't know. If I know the people, I don't mind. But if I don't know them, I don't like flying drones around them. So anyways, here's the footage. Check it out. All right, it's pretty cold out here. Time for an outdoor flight in my winter wonderland. I'm going to take it down the street. Here we go. All right, connect the battery. There we go. That's all set. Ooh. Ice everywhere. Put it, try to put it someplace where there's no snow. All right, the Insta 360 4K camera is recording and I've added a little ND filter to it. And I'm also going to record from the pilot camera that comes with the drone in analog. So you'll see both. Okay, I'm going to turn on the record on the Fat Sharks. There we go. That beep means it's recording. We're all good. And I have an image. I can see myself in here. This is perfect. All right. You can see me on the side. I'm going to pick a mode. Acro mode. Acro mode's good. And uh, arm it. And here we go. Flies faster than I thought. Look at this. Look at this. Look at our winter wonderland down the streets. Whoa! <laughs> I'll bring it off back here. Ooh, I have to set the voltage for the battery in beta flight. Why is that car turning there? Turn that around. Let's go this way. Look at all the snow we have. This thing is so smooth. Here, I'm going to bring it down low to the ground so you can get a nice... Hey, there's a snowman. Check that out. Let's go check out Mr. Snowman here. There we go. Look at that. See, in this little drone, you can just glide along, look at things, and check things out. All right. Let's go this way. Let's go low to the ground. Bring it down. There we go. There's our snow banks, our street. This is where I drove a gas-powered car down before it was all plowed. And it looks pretty good now. And if we go up, check out my winter trees here. There's the roofs of the houses going around. The video transmission on this is much more powerful than the last one, I find. I'm having zero breakups. As you look in my goggles, you'll see a little battery flashing up top. It's because I haven't set it properly. Oh, I see humans below and they're wondering what the heck is going on. Let me just go this way and away from them. Come back this way. There you go. Let's go around my place now. Go down here. Here I am. Got the traditional little green jacket. I'm gonna lean against my car here. Whoa! I'm leaning. Let's go over this way. Let's see if I can go around this tree. Can I go around it up and around? Yes. Whoa! Hit a branch. All right. Let's bring it under control. Nice and slow down here. There we go. Let those people go by. I think my three minutes are going to be up soon, so I am going to bring this back. Come around this way. Oh, another person. I have to go this way. It's like everybody's out for a walk today. Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. All right. So I got another minute. And let's bring her on down. So 
This drone is highly recommended. It's pretty darn awesome. It's uh, one of the better drones on the market if you're a beginner or you just want to fly around and film little things like me talking. All right, let's hit the arm button. All right, if there wasn't so many people out here today, I'd fly longer. Back inside. All right, the next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box. Very tiny box. You get a lot of good stuff in it, so let me show you. Check this out. And here we go with one of my super quick famous unboxings. Well, this is a box, and if I take off the cover, it looks like this, the drone. And if I pull out the drone, there's two bags underneath. This is one of them. It has a right-angled USB connector for beta flight. Also, if you have a naked GoPro, it has a connector for that. Then you get another bag, much larger in size. It's got a whole bunch of foam in it that you can wrap around the drone in case you lose yours, some screws, and a full set of spare props. And that's it. Back to me. So the final things to tell you is just a few of the specs. So you got an F4 flight controller, 20 amp ESC on this baby you have gem fan props they are five bladed and they are d63 so they're not cheapy props these are really good props the brushless motors on here are really good they're 1106 3800 kv and they're actually a lower kv than on the version 2 drone the reason they're lower is because the version 2 had tri-blade props so you got to spin them faster. This has, uh, well, five blades on it, so they don't have to spin as fast. So it means you're going to get a little bit of savings in flight time. My version is totally analog, so the camera up front, they just call it the EOS camera. I have no idea what that is, but it's really good. And my little goggles, it looks really decent. And the VTX on the back shoots out at 350 milliwatts. Now, I thought it would be less than that because it's so tiny. Look at this little antenna. It's just squished in the back here. So uh, that antenna shoots out quite well, and you saw in the video, maybe you didn't see it all, I don't know how much I showed you, of me flying with the fat sharks, but I had no breakup in the fat sharks. Normally with an antenna, when you go behind trees or you go down the street with all the interference coming from everybody's house and Wi-Fi and everything, you get transmission breakup but I didn't have any. It was like solid, a solid image in my fat sharks going up and down the street. So that little antenna does really well. Now, if you don't want the analog system and you want an even better camera up front, you can get the digital camera, which is a CAD DX Nebula. If you have that, uh, you have the whole digital system, which actually, actually, actually adds more weight to your little baby. So if you want to have less weight, the analog system is the way to go. But with the digital system, your pilot camera and your DJI goggles, which are back here someplace, uh, the image is better for when you're flying and you can fly farther. But if you just want to fly around your neighborhood, then the analog system is fine. Uh, and the image is what you saw in the fat sharks. To my eyes, it looked perfectly fine. It was very clear. Now, as I mentioned, analog is less weight and the digital is more weight so that means with analog if you use the recommended battery of 450 as i already mentioned then the rating is that you should be able to fly for four and a half minutes if you use the digital system you're down to three and a half minutes so you see the extra weight is really crushing your uh, flight time but if you want more flight time hey it's like any fpv drone you can fly longer that's why i always get asked in a lot of these videos when i do fpv i know there's a lot of newbies out there beginners who are not in the fpv hobby they're in the camera drone hobby like dji autel the budget cameras so they always ask me the same question when i do an fpv drone they go hey what's the flight time in the world of FPV, flight time is irrelevant because there is no, you can't buy this drone with a charger that charges only one battery specific to the manufacturer that made it, like in all the camera drones you buy. So it's up to me to buy the charger. It's up to me to buy the batteries. And I might overcharge the battery if I want. So say I have a 450 here and I should only charge it to a certain amount. I can overcharge it and get even more longer flight time out of this battery. Can't do that in camera drones, but you can do it in the FPV world. That's why you know, the flight time is kind of irrelevant. And when I give a flight time, it's just, it's an average flight time. You know, your, your flight time may be way more, or it could be less. It depends how you charge the battery and the battery you used. Now, before I go, I just want to mention this camera. I have the little Insta360 sweatshirt. Insta360 sent me this. You know, a lot of companies that I show their products send me sweatshirts and golf shirts. And uh, I don't know, in China, people are an odd size. Well, they're tinier. Um, but I'm not a big guy, but uh, they always send me like extra, extra, extra large. And then it fits like a size small. It's the strangest thing. I don't know. But anyway, so Insta360 sent me this and I thought, you know, well, I might as well wear it in a video because I have an Insta360 product here. This actually says beta FPV on it, but the camera is Insta360. So this is the SMO 4K. I've done a review on it. I'll put a link below so you can check out the camera. And let me just say, basically, it's a full-blown Insta360. It's as good as, if not better, than a GoPro 
but you just stick it on tiny drones because it only weighs like 30 grams and it's really sweet. Anyways, that's enough mentioning about that, but I'll put a link to it below. So back to the drone that I'm all excited about. This is now in my favorites for favorite drones under 250 grams in the FPV world. This thing is so easy to control. If I want to go slow, I go slow. If I want to go fast, I go fast. If you want to do flips, you can do flips, but I, I wouldn't recommend doing flips and rolls and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's not really designed for that, but it does it. You can do it if you want to do it. If you want to do freestyle with it, go right ahead. But you will get some really cool shots no matter what camera you stick on top because it's just this tiny little thing that buzzes around that doesn't weigh much. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. All the links to everything I showed in this video will be below. You can find it there. If you have questions on this drone, on this camera, uh, on this super, super, extra, 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 triple large uh, shirt that's a size small, uh, by all means, post your questions below and I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I have many more reviews coming up of many more new products that are out on the market. So take care, catch you in the next video. Bye.